Dick Fashion's try on the vlogs. Poppy Cake with Dick Fashion vlogs. Thrifty Fashion's try on the vlogs. Poppy Cake, subscribe, like, comment, and share. Hello, everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name's Katie. I hope you are doing well. And if you enjoy thrifting, if you enjoy fashion, if you enjoy creating outfits and you have come to the right place today's video is going to be a little bit of a look through the copenhagen fashion street style um we are now rolling up on the fashion weeks and i have got some really exciting news coming at the end of the video if you would like to stay tuned you can find out about what's happening um but i thought i would literally log on i'm going to screen record what i'm doing and then you'll be able to see obviously what I'm looking at. And I'm literally going to look live on the Vogue street style looks from Copenhagen Fashion Week. We are on February the 10th. New York Fashion Week starts tomorrow. So I thought what a great way of kind of having a look at going at the uh, actual Fashion Week and the street style looks that were out there. So I'm now going to go and get my phone, press record, and then we will see what the street style looks like. Right then, so I've now got the actual thing up here. It is the best street style from Stockholm Fashion Week, fall 2020. So we're gonna have a look through and see, well, the weather doesn't look that great, does it? It's snowy, but I just thought I would literally go through, I think there's like 37 pictures and I thought we'll just go through and maybe just have a little talk about them. Um, here we go, so we've got one here and he's got a pink, pink hat on his earphones in black got trainers on got a lovely tote bag this is something you could definitely um kind of look for in the charity shops thrift stores and online as well like your depop and things like that you could definitely create this outfit nice comfortable fantastic i love this i love the it's like a um denim jumpsuit and then she's got like a an oversized jacket and then it looks like she's got like a a vintage bag there as well i love that and then her paper boy hat love it love it great greens greens i think are going to be something that is definitely um staying with us i think greens and like lime greens and things like that as we see in this picture here it's quite a monochromatic picture it looks like a leather full leather suit and then we've got a lime green bag um that's awesome i think that looks really cool this looks so warm and cozy it looks so warm and cozy and the footwear bag everything like that what a pop of color on this next gentleman here he has got like this massive like bag of orange and i love that and then he's obviously got his hat and his puffer jacket on but that's really striking that would be the first thing you'd see if you see somebody in the street these um kind of i love the biker style jackets with the sherpa lining fabulous and this full length one is amazing beanie hats toques whatever you want to call them they are not going anywhere and i don't think they ever will um but they're just a great staple in your wardrobe and another thing that you can easily find in the thrift shops and in in your charity shops as well and here we've got just like a buffalo print shacket type thing a bit of suiting as we see sorry about that um as you can see here we have got um she's actually layered up quite a lot she's got like a big jacket on she's got a blazer on and then i think she's got like a little crop top underneath and then she's got this tweed skirt on which is lovely army green always a favorite just saying chunky boots again definitely not going anywhere this this coat this coat is just out of this world, isn't it? It's something that's definitely striking. Probably not something that you'd find every day in your thrift shop, but you never know. That's why we go out there to have a look at these things. Bit of Louis. Nice little bit of print mixing there on that one. Neutrals are definitely in as well, you know. I don't think neutrals ever go out, do they really? But it's just nice to kind of see a whole neutral outfit and those trainers are something else i love this this is kind of giving me a little bit of chloe vibes as well you know you've got the baseball cap and then all of the layering with the suiting as well absolutely fabulous 
again something that you would definitely be able to pick up and find at the thrift store i love these little kitten heels that she's got on the blue ones they're amazing oh, i love this outfit this, this outfit just screams happiness to me absolutely amazing and that pop of pink i mean all right she's got orange hair but that little pop of pink really does bring everything together it kind of brings your eye right into the center of the outfit that's an interesting kind of roll neck with a, a keyhole detail in there there's that coat again now these jeans i love these jeans I absolutely love these jeans, the black ones with the little detail on the on the on, on the bottom there. And I think I'm going to have a go at thrift flipping a pair of jeans like that. I love it. I think that's amazing. Really do. And then she's with her, her Birkin lilac as well. I think lilac. I'm watching some of the actual um, catwalk shows from the Copenhagen Fashion Week. Pastels are going to be quite a thing, I think, for autumn winter this year. This lady just irradiates happiness, sunshine, colours, wonderful. Nice classic. And this skirt, look at this skirt. It is, it's amazing. It's something else again that you could probably recreate yourself. Um, they've got, it's carabiner clips all around the outside onto a belt. And then the carabiner clips are attached to this skirt. You could definitely kind of have a go at doing that. I think that would be a really good sort of thrift flip if you wanted to do something like that. And here we've got a nice classic tweed tweed coat and a fantastic Baker Boy style hat. And that's it. And I love that actual pop of colour there as well. That very, very, very bright. Love it. Absolutely love it. I love looking at the street stars because it kind of gives you a little bit of um, inspiration of what people are really wearing. I mean, the catwalk shows and things are great. Sometimes um, they can be a little bit out there and it's not something you could imagine somebody that isn't doing a red carpet or something um, would wear. So for me, the street style kind of shows that everyday looks that you can incorporate or certain things you can incorporate into your everyday looks. Now then, I said at the beginning of the video, didn't I, that I had some exciting news. Talking of street style, obviously we've got New York Fashion Week coming up next week. I will do probably another video like this and have a look and we'll go through some of the street style. But because I am in the UK, myself and my photographer, aka my son, are going down to London on the first day or the second day, I think it's the second day, second day of um, London Fashion Week and we are going to go and do some shooting of street style and have a look and see what people are wearing. So I cannot wait, I tell you I'm beside myself with excitement, I cannot wait to get down there and see what everybody is wearing. So if you're in London then please pop over and say hello, it would be amazing. Um, but yeah, so that is my exciting news. I can't wait and then I'll bring you a video of what everybody is wearing in London and I might get to do a bit of shopping, but I don't know if we will. But that's it. I just thought I'd show you a little bit of Copenhagen Fashion Week, um, Fashion Week Street Style. And that's it. So thank you so much for watching. Look after yourselves, look after everybody else. Remember, the world is your catwalk. I will see you on the next one. Have a great day. Bye.